Okay, so before I get into the video, uh, I caught some sickness last week, so I apologize if I sound like a loose booger for the rest of the video. But recently, I did a desk makeover video, and in that video, I was interested in finding a mechanical keyboard. Except, I didn't know jack about mechanical keyboards. Through some basic research into the topic, I discovered several things, like what goes into building a mechanical keyboard, what component is what, and what's important when looking for a mechanical keyboard. Something I came across when researching is keyboard size. There's the full, the 10 keyless, sometimes called the TKL, and a bunch of other smaller ones that are like named after percentages. There's a huge variety, so I won't go into all of them, but a really popular one I saw is the 60%. It doesn't have the function keys or arrows, which seems off to me, but it seems to be a really popular option. Personally, I like having my arrow keys and just a general like bigger feel to my keyboards, so the TKL is like the best option for me as of right now. Okay, so there are three basic components in a keyboard. The bass, the switches, and the keycaps. Each of these play their own part in making the keyboard come together. So to better explain this, I have an egg. Warning, I'm not an expert on the topic, just another beginner that wants to help you guys learn a little bit and hopefully keep you entertained. If I mess up or say something incorrectly, feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, yeah, that, that's all. Now on with the video. So the base is like the shell of an egg. It's basically what holds the entire thing together. It also holds the electronic bits that actually send like the signal to your computer that you hit one of the keys on the keyboard. The switch represents the egg white. It's the most important part, typically. Switches dictate what kind of sound your keyboard makes, as well as how it feels. Typically, they come in one of three groups, linear, tactile, and clicky. Each of these come with their own unique sound and feel. I personally like the clicky switches because they remind me of like the old timey typewriters, or as old people like to call them, typewriters. The keycaps are the yoke of the keyboard. Keycaps are super customizable. That's what makes a keyboard unique to you. There's a plethora of custom keycaps on Etsy and eBay, and a bunch of artists that are just solely dedicated to making unique looking keycaps for people. Some of these go for a lot of money and have intricate and insane artwork featured on them. It's a really cool rabbit hole to fall in when researching the world of mechanical keyboard. There's so much dope art out there for you to discover, and it's just so cool to me how people can just create these intricate and insane pieces of artwork that just go on your keyboard like some of these are so detailed it's just so dope to me like artwork is just so dope to me those three components come together to build any keyboard you can imagine as well as any egg you can imagine although if you're looking for a keyboard that is customizable make sure the description says it is a hot swap keyboard Otherwise, the keyboard's gonna have little parts that can't be switched out and you won't be able to experiment, which kinda sucks. I recommend starting off with a keyboard that is hot swappable so that you have room to like test out a bunch of different switches and keycaps and do whatever you want to your keyboard, you know? Like truly make it unique to you. But if you just want a dope sounding pre-built, there's plenty of boards out there for you too. Cool, now that you know what makes up a basic keyboard, When I was looking for something that would match my desk aesthetic, it was kind of difficult to find something that nailed what I was looking for. But then I found this. It's the Hexgears X3 TKL model. There's a bunch of color options, but I opted for this warm brown. It felt cozy, which is what I wanted. This keyboard feels really nice and heavy, and it comes with this really premium feeling gold dongle. It also comes with this dope wrist rest that attaches to the bottom of the keyboard, giving it a really stable feel. And if you don't like the basic typing angle, there are two little rubber feet at the bottom of it, so it lets you adjust it to whatever angle pleases you the most. The keyboard I ordered is the Sky Blue Switch Set, which is one of three available options. So there's Tactile Gold, Rose Red, and Sky Blue. So the Sky Blue Switch Set I ordered is a clicky one, and here's what it sounds like. I like the clickiness of it a lot, and it's a good starting keyboard for someone that doesn't really want to customize. It is my first mechanical keyboard, so I'm a little bit biased, but I do recommend it as a non-hot swappable mechanical keyboard. Hello, um, if you enjoyed this video, I really recommend you check out my last video. Sub, like, or comment if you so desire. I sincerely hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.